Now, 330 new details just in about a deadly shooting that happened in Fort Lauderdale. And the victim has been identified as a 15 year old boy and local 10's Leanne Morahone is joining us. She's at that scene live where the search continues for the person who pulled the trigger. Leanne. And we were here as police came back to the scene moments ago. They were passing these flyers out. They say community critical incident support information. They want anybody in this area who may have seen or maybe know something about what happened here yesterday to give them a call right away. Fort Lauderdale police returned to the 1100 block of Northwest 12th Street Tuesday with flyers a day after a 15 year old boy was shot and killed in the same area. Investigators say it all happened around 4:15 Monday afternoon. The teen was shot and transported to Broward Health Medical Center where he was pronounced dead. Back at the neighborhood, a handgun could be seen on the ground, though it's unclear whether that specific gun was the murder weapon. Canines carefully sniffed the scene. Bullet holes were seen in at least one vehicle. A side window also visibly shattered. A pair of shoes and other debris were looked at by officers. As night fell, investigators called in a tow truck to remove the bullet riddled vehicle from the crime scene. And if you come back out live, you can see there, there used to be some crime scene tape left over when the police came to distribute the flyers. They also took away those remnants of tape. We are working to get more information about that 15 year old and who he was. But if you have any information that can help police investigate this and find the shooter or shooters responsible, you're urged to call Fort Lauderdale police immediately. For now, reporting live in Fort Lauderdale, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News. All right, Leanne, hope somebody comes forward on that one.